Hi, everybody. Welcome to New Song Sundays on this Sunday, October 30th. And I am as live as live gets right here um, today. This is not a pre-record. This is live right now coming to you, which is making me a little bit nervous. Um, but thank you for joining uh, tonight's uh New Song Sunday, and I hope you're doing great. Thanks to everybody uh, who came out Friday night in St. Louis. That was a blast. It's a great little club, Blue Strawberry. Love them. Uh, and um, uh, a quick reminder about the upcoming Sunday, December 11th, Holiday Spectacular, third annual. May as well do another one, and um, details to follow. Uh, but hope you can mark your calendars for that. Uh, as we move toward the cooler weather, I'm here in Chicago tonight. And for those of you who have a guitar in the house, um, you may want to put in a Humidipack. I love this little product by Diodario. They come with these little gel packs, and you can throw them right in your sound hole and just leave them in there. Um, and they do the trick real good uh, to keep your guitar softer. Um, and humidified instead of dry and suffering through the cold winters up here up north. Okay, so new song tonight is Fresh Off the Printer. Uh, um, this has not been played in any venue anywhere, and um, I'll play it for you tonight. First, just to confirm that we are live for real, I'm seeing Chris Chin, Hi Hi and Broadkin, Hi, Deborah Slada in Bethlehem. Yes, so fun. Hi, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Fun to be with you in real time again. Uh, so here is <clears throat> this week's new song, Hot Off the, hot off the Press. <laughs> Little glass of wine Early in the evening time You pour yours and then pour mine That's how we close the day Little glass of wine Swirl it round and watch it shine Warms our tongues and soothes our minds Troubles fade away Raise a glass up to the sky And catch some stars Only for a moment that moment's ours Little glass of wine As the moon begins to climb And your words begin to rhyme And all the world is fine slips through the pines you and I slip back inside and sometimes stars align in a little glass of wine in a little glass of wine
So there you have it, a new song on New Song Sundays. So some questions before I check your comments, and I have a couple, uh, uh, yeah, some questions that I have about this song, because, you know, when you just made something, like you're looking at the cake you just made, and you're going, is that lopsided? (laughs) Which would be the case if I baked. Um, So, and I don't. Um, uh, So the first question is, there are a couple tunes out there called Little Glass of Wine, right? So did any of you think of, and probably right here in the comments, but already, I haven't looked yet, but did any of you think of those other songs? There's a Stanley Brothers song called Little Glass of Wine um, from the 50s, which was evidently recorded in the 40s or 50s, and that was based on a whole other song that was recorded already in the 40s or 30s. And then there's Jesse Winchester's song, Little Glass of Wine. And I wondered if this reminded you of any of them, or some of you were like, oh, this is just like, and bing. And so this song right, right takes a divot right off the top. Boom, like Wine Spectator. The rating goes down. <laughs> because... Uh, the rating goes down because, you know, this is already, you know, tr- trodden, trodden territory. You know, it's footprints on the moon here. Okay. So, yes, Jesse Winchester, Ramsey. I knew it. Ramsey Rodriguez. I knew Ramsey. I knew it. Jane. Oh, good. Hey, man. I'm glad you didn't think about their songs. Good, 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 good. Good, good. That's it. Yes, Christian. Yes, yes, I did. Yes. Yes, the niceness of slowly getting drunk together. And then I don't want to, I don't, I, okay, here's another worry about this song. Does this sound like you're getting drunk, right? Because I, I think it's just kind of getting in the mood. Uh, but the original concept was second glass of wine. And then I'm like, that sounds like they got to get loaded before they, you know, so. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, little glass. Okay, good. Uh, good. Okay, so the Jesse Winchester tune showed up for Ramsey, who's a song expert. But okay, good. Thanks for your positive feedback on that. Here's some questions for you. There are um, hi uh, hi Scott Montgomery. I love you, dearie. Hi Seth Cutler, tuning in from Los Angeles. Okay, so there are repeated elements in the words in this song, and I'm wondering if any of you kind of had a moment of clink. Um, oh, Anne, thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, there are repeated elements here. One is, uh, you pour yours and then pour mine. That's how we close the day. Second verse, swirl it round and watch it shine. It warms our tongues and soothes our minds. Troubles fade away. So there's mine and mines within two verses of each other, within one verse of each other. So that's sort of a no-no in my head anyway. These are not perfect rhymes. I kind of threw, you know, sound rhymes. Is it called slant rhymes? I don't know what it's called, but something, right? Half approximate rhymes. Are we good with that? We're good with, uh, um, yeah, our little glass of wine. It could be, hey, Richard Benz. Yeah, it could be our little glass of wine. Yeah. Um, and, uh, thank you, Jana, for your comment. I like mine and mines. You make it flow well. Well, you know, a good singer can fool you and cover many flaws, right? So I'm just wondering about that because I cover for a lot of flaws in my songs. (laughs) I do. I'm like, oh, that, oh, got it. Another one is the stars show up twice. Anybody, anybody bothered by that? Because the bridge goes, raise a glass up to the sky and catch some stars. And then the last verse goes, silver light slips through the pines, you and I slip back inside, and sometimes stars align in a little glass of wine. So these are things I stay up late worrying about. Whether it's the stars, you know, am I making too much of stars? Stars are fine, okay? Jane says stars are fine. Yes, Sandra Bogan likes the rhymes being odd and not exact. You know, partial rhymes, yes, that's what it's called. Yeah, the idea, right, of... I think when we sing ballads, we're, we're more forgiving of, or maybe more welcoming of the sound of a rhyme, vowel rhymes, right? But when, in a joke, man, you want a perfect rhyme, right? Perfect rhyme. Okay. Okay, so that's the lyric elements. Um, uh, oh, Marty Young. Hello, dearie. Stars also ignite in your glass of wine all the time. <laughs> Maine is for lovers. Maine is for lovers. Okay, um, another element, if you're staying with me on this little experiment here tonight, of song shop. Um, And I've thought about doing a Sunday night song shop, right? It doesn't have to be my song every time, right? Would this be fun? Let me know if that would be fun uh, to tune in and hear somebody's song. We talk about how it was built, right? The architecture of the thing, the engineering of the thing. 
Okay, so here's the bridge. Let me show you this. Uh, uh, I'm going to go from the second verse into the bridge, and I'll show you three ways in, okay? Little glass of wine Swirl it round and watch it shine Warms our tongues and soothes our minds And troubles fade away Raise a glass up to the sky and catch some stars. Only for a moment, but that moment's ours. Little glass of wine. So that's, let's call that bridge one, right? So that just goes to the minor six. It doesn't wander too far, right? It stays within, kind of within the framework of a simple and sincere song. Okay, that's, to me, that, there's an argument for that bridge. Okay, here's another bridge. Um, little glass of wine, swirl it round and watch it shine. Warms our tongues and soothes our minds. Troubles fade away. Raise a glass up to the sky and catch the stars. Isn't that lovely? Only for a moment, but that moment's ours. Little glass of wine. Isn't that lovely, right? And I really, really was tempted to go with that. So again, that's like, we'll call that bridge two and it goes to E which in the, with a capo, forget that part. So it goes to really the major two. It's kind of lovely, but I wonder if it's too much. One more time with that one. Swirl it round and watch it shine. Warms our tongues and soothes our minds. Troubles fade away. Raise a glass up to the sky and catch the stars. Feels like James Taylor almost, doesn't it, right? Only for, what does this do? Something like this. Only for a moment, but that moment sounds. Little glass of wine. Okay, that's bridge two, bridge three. Thank you for staying with me. Swirl it round and watch it shine. Warms our tongues and smooths our soothes our minds. Troubles fade away. Raise a glass up to the sky and catch the stars. Only for a moment, but then. Moments are Little glass of wine Okay, so that's bridge three, which goes to the F, which is the minor three. Not important. But do you have an opinion about those bridges? Because, right, the first one is really simple and within, it's like a very Willie Nelson bridge, right? It's very like right within there, don't make a, don't make a simple thing complicated, right? Bridge two is like, is very artful and kind of James Taylor-like. I didn't execute it very well, but, and the third one is the one that I went with. Um, but I'm open to, uh, here we go, oh, the bridge, missing, uh, Oh, I like the last option, bridge three. Yay, Linda Shar. Hi, hon. Thank you for that. Um, a whole tone harmony would be Roaches meets Werner Goodness. Oh, Scott Montgomery. Yes, I love the Roaches. I did a show with Susie Roach once. I loved it. Glow in Vermont likes the first bridge. Right? That's the question is, are you making... Okay, Jane says bridge three. Okay, got to take that, you know, got to take that into a consideration. Right, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Yeah, the bridge two modulation is too much for me. It's too dramatic, right? Three is better. Okay. Oh, first bridge, says Seth. Okay. 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 Okay, good. Like three. Okay, good. So really, it's kind of down to three and one, right? 
Okay, so we'll do the one. I'll try out the one. Oh, Susan Frazier calls it like the first third is okay. All right, Susan Frazier over in Lansing, Michigan. All right, got it. Well, thank you for your feedback. And I'll test them out, and uh, we'll um, see which one sticks. And uh, I'll play it this weekend in, let's see, where am I going to be? Manhattan, Kansas. Should be a song about that. Uh, Manhattan, Kansas on Friday. Lawrence on Saturday. The Bartlett Arbor Arboretum uh, outside of Wichita on Sunday. Uh, and then uh, uh, coming up next is City Vineyard in New York. Uh, that's a new room for me. It's a little room, and I'm really looking forward to playing it. I think it's going to be the perfect room, New York, like everybody in close. That's on Thursday, November something, 17th, I think. And then uh, Minstrel Coffee House in Morristown, New Jersey, and then Godfrey Daniels, um, and then Cedar Rapids, and then Stoughton, Wisconsin, and then Memphis, of all places. Um, but it's really been, there you go. Oh, Kelly Lynn Knott, you are the best. Kelly Lynn Knott, digital coordinator, give it up for Kelly Lynn Knott. And um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. I hope you have been uh, well entertained and that I kept you good company. And I uh, hope to see you out there uh, on the road or in a live stream uh, soon. Thanks so much.